Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created this little swarm of, I guess you would just call it a, a swarm of balls, but it's supposed to be a, looking like bees or a swarm of flies kind of just flying around. Someone had asked the question of how you would, this is in relation to the dancing balls, I got a little bit more information. They said they were looking for a swarm, kind of like a swarm of bees, so I wanted to show them a way to kind of generate a swarm of bees just kind of flying around and I'll go ahead and let this run for just a second while I get a sip of beer and then I'll show you how I made it okay so now the suspense is over I'll go ahead and show you once I show you this it'll be pretty obvious but I'm gonna go ahead and show the character that I have here I'm gonna advance uh, back this up to frame one and what I did was, I had this little dance, it's called a stand dance battle. I don't know, I don't know where I bought it, I buy a bunch of props, so I ended up with that. It, maybe it, I don't know what it came with or anything, but I'll just, I just had him dance, and then I went to each ball, and I attached it to the character, and you have to do this part one at a time. Here's one that's actually on bone root, which is... So I just take each one that's on bone root and put it somewhere. You can even attach it to another ball because it's all relative and that still looks better than just being on bone root. So by doing that, you can just watch as he starts dancing, it, it just starts creating the balls. And that's about as random, you know, there's other ways I could do this with Python, but I thought about this and go, oh, well, that's, that's just, as, uh, just as random. And generally I found that when you attach the balls to his fingers or his toes or even other balls it kind of makes things just kind of fly around a little more so that was my short video I'll zoom in a little bit and show you my little character I think he looks pretty good so just you know he's he's dancing with all the bees flying around him if those are bees but So that was just one way. There's other ways with Python I could do it randomly, but this actually uh, probably does, you know, a, a better job or possibly a better job. I don't know. This is just because of the way it's a lot of different, you know, different balls and different things attached to, by being attached to different bones, it does a pretty good job. Even if he doesn't move, move much, you get a pretty good random amount of movement, so... I don't know. That was my short video of one way to create a swarm of balls. All right. Actually, a swarm of bees or flies or whatever. Whatever you're swarming. Thanks for watching.